I again, Trognor. Yep. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha uh, ha. Uh, nah, don't uh, worry. Let's skip. <laughs> this might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging. Thanks for keeping your promise, Trognor. Yeah, they're yeah, probably... Sorry, Trogmore. I don't know why I just read that. You thrown off, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Whoa. What? Do you notice something? Yeah, it is all slightly turned, isn't it? No, but there's something else. Is there a hairpin? No. Um, well, I don't know if you can see it. too overwhelming of a commitment for you. I'm telling you right now, there is something in this image. Waiting for the gears to click into place. Really not noticing anything. What do we know about Yuri? About Yuri? Yes. He's a shy person. Oh, doesn't initiate conversation. Okay, guess you're right. No. Okay, we can continue. What am I missing? It's fine. We can just keep going. I'm definitely missing something I don't understand. Did she have that hairpin before, though? Pretty sure yeah. she had that hairpin. Hair Good. Okay. You can dive head first into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. <laughs> You already had me drag in here by Monica. I don't know if you just plan on coming here and hang out or what, but if you don't take it seriously, you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, certainly. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps a manga collection in the club room. Wow, it's almost like Monica wants me to pay attention. Yeah, Yuri's picture's really big. I don't know. I'm just confused. Confused by so much of what's here. Really big. Yeah, really big. So you find yourself between saying Monica and Monica. Monica is literature! Swiftly to Peter, Natsuki falls back into her seat. Sorry, Chargmore. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Uh, you're shooting since we were the disappointed ones. Now I'm just looking for what you were talking about, unless it's her just being really... Yeah, you can't see it now. I can't? Mm -hmm. That's... Wow, okay. Now I'm sad. <laughs> I missed something. Okay. Just look back at the video. I will if you ever post them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, anyway. I could be missing something. I'm pretty sure it's... I'm kind of religious. I think you're not in the right place. Um, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have an interest in picking a book to read. Yeah, well. Can't really say no either way. You can, like, back up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's really close. It's like cutting off her face. Yeah. Like you said, I'm in this club now, so it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. Wait. I didn't mean it like that. Uh, I don't really want to forget I said anything, I guess. Ah, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try and be a part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you want me to. Are you sure? I just feel felt like, well, as vice president, no. I don't know why I have to keep telling you that fact. But, uh, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Pulls out some drugs. And yep. should feel left out. More it feels like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read. It's just to keep your attention. It's right for the Even if you usually don't read. 
I just feel so weird now. Something's ah, that's weird. Okay. But it's tilted. Yeah. <laughs> could, you know. Discuss it if you want. This is. How's this girl accidentally being so cute? Ah. Accidentally. Pigs are broken. She thinks I like despite me not reading much. Hey, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically I take the book. Definitely read this. Deal. Well, you can read it at your own pace. Or hearing what you think. Oh. And it's back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, okay. Some of the pictures on the, the stuff on the right, like, I don't know if it was just zoomed in close, it was weird, or... The background was zoomed in. Well, yeah, I know, but, like... I don't know. It just looked like... Okay. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. That doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. Can't help but notice an intense expression while she's waiting for the pants. Meanwhile, Natsuki is drumming around in the closet. Ah! Here, Natsuki uttered an exasperated sigh from within the closet. Seems to be annoyed by something. Approach her in case she needs a hand. I don't think we saw this last time. Okay. I'm looking for something in there? Hugging <laughs> Monica! Never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stack books and boxes across the shelf. Manga? You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know, anyways? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I you see. You literal manga right yeah. on your face. <laughs> I love manga. Tattooed across my face. The lone volume of manga missed a set of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Here is, I pull out one of the stacks. There it is. That's a good snatch out of my hand. Chen turns to a box of manga, slips the volume to the right in the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. Agreed. I know that feel. <laughs> Get a closer look at the box she's admiring. Parfait. Parfait! Series I've never heard of in my life. <laughs> probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. Trash. Trash manga. If you're gonna judge, you can do it. Throw the glass on the on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging or anything. I didn't even say anything. It was a ton of your butts. But I'll tell you one thing, Trognor. Consider this a lesson for the straight lich girls. Don't judge a book. <laughs> Don't judge a book. In fact. And so you pulled out the full first fun part of I've never seen those word slurs like that before. Box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. That was a book right in my hands. Ah, here at the cover. Features four four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. Exceedingly moe. Mm, moe. Moe. Neat. That's the Asian. It's cute. Nice. Good to know. Uh, don't just stand there. Ugh. Sugi grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. Read it. Read it. Become one with the parfait girl. <laughs> <laughs> then she takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. Pats me on the shoulder next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? Take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read it at the same time like that. Uh, why is that? I guess it's easier to be close together like this. <laughs> Don't say that! You'll make me feel weird about it! And so he covers her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Just like, Sorry? I didn't exactly expect to be sitting as close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing, but open book! Only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I wouldn't, won't notice. Gives away one exactly. Yeah. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow. How long has it been since I read the beginning? Huh? You don't go back and flip through the old volumes right now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes, after I finish the series. You hey, have time to do are you it. paying so attention? Series. Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can't knock at the same time. So I can talk at the same time. It's like a bunch of, uh, it looks like it's a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice-of-life affair. 
I'm kind of grow out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough for uh, to make up for lack of thought. Fuck you. Slice of Life is great. Got him. Uh, Slice of Life is great. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's just fun sharing something like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Uh, huh? You don't. Ah, uh, game card tooth. <laughs> That's not. Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? God damn it, Trogmore. Can you not rub it in? Can you pick up on the context clues? <laughs> oh, he sucks them. He sucks it so much. Yes, he does. Eat him. Jeez. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I can't ever get my friends to read these. They just think manga's for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Your hair's pink. Yeah. One of them is purple. Well, yeah, but purple's more like... I don't know, pe pink people in anime, at least. People are friends with her, they have to know she likes manga. Like, this is the law of it. Purple hair is that elegant, older thing in that anime. <laughs> okay. Look, you're dealing with a weeb. Just accept all it and right. move on. <laughs> Next, we want to punch me in the face. Ah, uh, I know those kind of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends people, who don't judge. People I want Muscle to punch friends face. who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess gravitated towards the other losers over time, but it's probably harder for someone like you. Huh? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. Oh. Yeah, things are getting more vulgar over time. Yeah, like, that poem was Yeah, that was definitely a sneaky. Okay, makes sense, because then I... Yep, it's simple writing. And, yep, okay, there we go. Yep. <laughs> hey, you figured it out, friend. Wow, look at that idea. I just have to find that thing you guys are talking about in the clip. Alright. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica is kind of a jerk though. Ah, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, how long is what is he hearing? Oh, when they say weird things like that? Yeah, because he's very much not reacting to the fact that she's being vulgar like that. She doesn't really keep acting well. Yeah. Well, it's not like it solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? <laughs> uh, so. Uh, <laughs> Gee, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. Flip the, the page. Oh. Reading is happening. Time no, passes. Time is passing. Time is passed. That Suki is strangely quiet now. That's over here. Oh, okay. Okay. That's 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 better than some of the things that can happen. Looks like she's starting to fall asleep. <laughs> okay. I don't know, it's just creepy things are happening. If she's asleep, that's way <laughs> better. Than on one. edge. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you just joined a club, everything's nice and happy time right now. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so he collapses straight in there. Hey. <laughs> oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Here. Monica. Oh. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls some kind of protein bar. Uh, okay, well. Throws in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. Snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give me. She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it in her mouth. Don't worry, Trognor. Guess that's why she makes a lot of sweet things and has them around all the time. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep. A snack in my bag for her. So she doesn't Aren't glitch I out. the bestest? <laughs> anyway, why don't we all share poems now? 
anyway. <laughs> Let's go down the line. I guess starting with Nansu, yeah. Yep. The first time you should like any of our poems. Right. I told Natsuki that I was interested in her poems yesterday. Probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Huh? Huh? Okay. So that's one of the things I don't like. First of all, um... Uh, Natsuki rereads my poem. N never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Uh, what? Then what's the point of giving, sharing it in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Hmm. In fact, I remember how I said I wanted to read your poems. Remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said... <laughs> well, I'd be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You're supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Huh, well it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. You broke the soon soon. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it? Yeah. Natsuki retort- <laughs> Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Yeah. You're so- You just- You don't- You don't understand anything, do you? No, I'm talking about just not. I already told you that. I don't have to go announcing it to the whole world. Like, you're all self-important. Pretty sh sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss if she liked my poem. <laughs> <laughs> In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? You're fine, I guess. I guess Monica will make me if I don't. <laughs> Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try. But that's about it. Thanks. All these things can do so many things, but people can only try. But that's about it. Yeah. I told you, you aren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am? Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't- Oh, at all my voice is whole. Why are you so convinced <laughs> that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems to be- to express themselves? The writing style wouldn't make- your messages into less valid. Yes, exactly. That's like when it's easier to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone run around, do right things can be really disheartening. But it's hard to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about symbol writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. I was bringing out the feeling in the last line. I did. I guess I went there. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. Ha, <laughs> vampire too. <laughs> I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Eh, I guess not. Decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how her role is, but if that's who is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Talk to her. Nuts. Hmm. Nuts. The ear stares at the phone. And it passes more than enough time for adventure. <laughs> um. Oh. Ah, oh, sorry. I have to start speaking. Uh, um. It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. First time writing a poem, right? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Why do you ask? Yeah, last time she didn't even realize it was the first time. Yeah. Just, right. just making sure. I guess that I might be after reading through it though. Ah, uh, so it's uh, that bad. No. I just raise my voice. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, Yuri buries her face in her. Open notice has been several minutes now, we haven't really gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, just that there's specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. I've been 
been through that myself. I've kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very different. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic map, and then they form fit the two together. The end result is that the style and the expressiveness are weak. Once Siri finds a train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, you sound like an expert. Or no ill. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There's so many different skills and techniques that go into finding even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time. But it all comes with practice, and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Except me, I'm the best. <laughs> I assume you can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. Not sure if you're as apologizing to herself, to me, or Natsuki. Well, no, none of them. You mind if I read your poem now? None of them. <laughs> Apologizing to Monica. Please do. Oh, yeah. I love to share my thought process behind it. Very smiles during as if it's a rare opportunity for her. But itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed this to be a literature club? Wow. To be a literature club. Half track. <laughs> Ghost under the light. Chandra's in my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Anything. Must be this one. The last remaining streetlights so have stood this test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm's breath of air. Calm's breathing air of the present and living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I didn't realize she called us like on our blue green in the past and she says the future this time. Well. Uh, the other one she said, like, he is, like, he is blue-green, but I'm still amber, and it's the second one of this, and in this she's saying blue-green, hue of the future. Uh, in the last one, she referred to as him as amber. No, I'm still amber, he's blue-green, but I am amber. No. Of this one, the first time around, you're saying? When, the, the part two of it. This, the, the last poem we read by her. Yeah. She referred to him as amber, when she touched him, she became Amber as well. I think that is incorrect, but we'll have to look back and That's see. That's what it said, because blue-green refers to the knife. <laughs> I don't think there's a knife no. on. No, because, okay. If we go by the context of what we know, the knife she actually has is blue-green. And she referred to as the future and everything around her as blue-green. She's looking to the knife as the future. But that poem, the last one, referred to him, Trognor, as Amber. When she touched him, she became Amber as well. I'll have to reread that. Okay. We can look back, so we have video! I'm probably wrong, but whatever. Yeah. We'll it doesn't matter. It. Yeah, we'll take a look at it. Dots. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. God damn. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. It took a long time to read. Yes, because we were arguing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. I also like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. Ah. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems, like you'll see later. Ah, not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. To be honest, this is our first time sharing. I wanted to write something a little more mild. I think it's easy to, to try digest it. Are you in the ghost theory? Oh, oh. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Shrugnor. Really? You must have totally missed the point. Wow, like so many other things, Shrugnor. Ah! Shrugnor, <laughs> <laughs> the catchphrase. I must have missed the point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences into their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the 
subject of the poem is only being met symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, being able to let go of her past. I think we left without, with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I thought the ghost thing was cool. <laughs> I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. She's no longer a giant. Yeah, I know, right? Who is she? She's her problems to next. I hate her. I trod nor. Yeah, okay. Having a good time so far? <laughs> you would know. Yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Always watching Wazowski. Always watching. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? <laughs> Don't be afraid. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring these things up. <laughs> I'm much better off just going with the flow and tell more so than... Anyway... Want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha 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 ha. Don't worry, Trognor. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. And Monica, my poem. Mm-hmm. I like it, Trognor. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Does she ever dislike the poems? I don't know. Ha 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 ha. Oh jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. Yeah, yeah. And she's a good writer too. So take that as a compliment. Ah, if you say so. Yep. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. How <laughs> forward of you. Huh. She'll cling to you like a puppy. Huh. Ha 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 ha. Not Suki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. Okay. But sometimes she loses all of her strength and shuts down. Like earlier. This is just a guess. She's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. This is like advanced tutorial. Yeah. But hey, it's some it's girls are, some guys are into petite girls too, you know. Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. Anyway, do you want to no. read my poem? I really now? don't. <laughs> don't worry. I'm not very I good. I thought Trognor doesn't respond to any of that information. Sound pretty comfortable for somebody who claims not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. Hmm. I see. No, she didn't. I don't think. Well, let's read it then. It's the same one, man. Or is it? I think it isn't it? Oh, and oh. 
hole in wall, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Aren't they talking? Or are they simply poems on a flat sheet of paper? The, the sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I don't, this. I don't either know how I read it. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. See, I remember Hole in a Wall. I, rem I remember that being the title of the poem, but it's changed. Yeah. Um, if I would tell you, it's technically Hole in the Wall. Okay. It's like a continuation. Of the goal. Okay. Yeah, because, yeah, it's very much the, oh, there's still other people here and he's not paying attention to me. Yeah. That's fine. I just, I just read the title and I was like, this is the same. Wow, I don't like her. Okay. Alright, yep, that's, that's, that's fine. So, what do you think? Huh, very freeformer, that's what we call it. So I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Uh huh, huh, it's she, okay. Even when she smiles, she always looks so sad. Huh. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I was expecting it. glitching there. <laughs> I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. Yeah, there we go. It's been influencing my poems a bit. Okay. An epiphany. Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway. Yeah. That last time. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Oh, I'm so afraid. Sometimes when you're writing oh. a poem a or a story, time? your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. Like the writer's block of her last poem. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Like the writer's block of last poem. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big, dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Ooh, I guess that's everyone. Oh, now I see it. Is that what you were talking about earlier? What, you, what, what do you see there? Yeah. Good music. Was it? Bit. It was like way off. Key. It was the corrupted scene theme of series. Yeah. It happened like for. Yeah. So there was something different that didn't catch last time. I could have been wrong about that, but I'll, I'll talk to Bailey. But I'm pretty sure correct, at least with it. All right. Well, when we're done doing this, we'll take a look mm -hmm. back. And... All right. Glance around the room. A little more stressful than I anticipated. Is it fair to could have been a writing tricks on the And if they're just being nice, there's no way poems can stand up to theirs. It's just literature club after all. I sigh. I guess.
guess this is what I end up getting myself into. Across from Monica's writing something in a notebook, and I'm very Natsuki, generally exchanging papers, sharing their respective poems. Oh no! Cat fight. Uh. <laughs> Watch video here. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. Who's gonna break up this one? Oh, it's nothing. That's who he dismissively turns a poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is... Beautiful. Yeah. You completely miss a symbolism or something? Clearly about the feeling of giving up. How could that be cute? I know that. I just meant... The language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Trying. You mean you have to try it hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I really didn't need- I didn't come out nice at all. But I really didn't come out nice at all. Well, I do have a couple suggestions. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. That's Which what I do. people did, by the way. Monica liked it. Ragnar did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First well, of all, I will give you a hint. The first person she says that is last time is not Monica. What? <laughs> the first person that she says likes it last time was not Monica. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then everything's like, oh, Monica's gonna like it. I picked the phone that Monica would like. like okay. Calm down. Excuse me. I appreciate the offer. I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come something across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Nah. So step off, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and Trogner liked my poem too, you know? He even told me that he was impressed by it. So he suddenly stands up. Ow. Oh. oh, music stopped. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Oh, okay. Happy for me. Eh? That's not what I... Uh... You, you just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Chorgo appreciates my advice more than appreciating yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you saying that... Are you that full of yourself? Fool of myself. I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do for the cute scene. Ah! Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Trognor started showing up. Natsuki! Oh, Natsuki, that's a little. This doesn't. It's. Evolve this doesn't involve you. Thanks, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. Yeah, you your own insecurities on others like yours. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking. You wanna be edgy, bitch? Oh, shoot. <laughs> edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for some of your mental age to See? That's saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. Others yeah, no one's stopping it. I think you can counterbalance your toxic personality. So by dressing I can cute. I'm cute about you, how hard you try. Oh, uh, well, be careful, you might cut yourself on edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad, you already do, don't you? Just, just, just accuse me of cutting myself. What's wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Trognor hear everything you really think. I'm sure it'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh, uh. Suddenly, Yuri turns towards me as if uh, she just knows I was standing there. Drop me away! She's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Uh, uh. Uh. Who do you side with? Oh no. Oh no, I'm about to do somebody's death. I can't save. It doesn't matter if I save. Oh no. Can't do anything. <laughs> you have to fix You have to pick. You can't save, boy. Yeah. Um. Oh. 
Uh, oh, shoot. Somebody's <laughs> gonna die. <laughs> Somebody's gonna die. What? I don't know. Nobody's ever died in this story. Yeah, no. Why, right why do you think someone would die? Well... We don't have a picture of a friend hanging in the back. <laughs> no. Well, do we want it? Oh, let's hear this story this time. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I mean, that's not for you. Well... I don't know. I don't like this decision at all. <laughs> Alright. Pick something. Yes. I mean, uh, I felt like this situation was confused somehow last time. Last time, what do you mean? Ah, okay. You're right, what, what do I mean? What are these thoughts? I don't want to decide this. Uh, Sometimes you have to make decisions that you don't want to make. I know, right? You should remember, remember to save, save your game. game. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I huh. can't do that now. I guess... I was gonna go for Natsuki this time, Gary's gonna die. Rip. Good. 